we studied the coupling of two different type of electron hole pairs in the two-dimensional semiconductor molybdenum disulfide. Electron hole pairs are a fundamental excitation in the semiconductor system and understanding their properties is very important for understanding the semiconductor itself. In a semiconductor, I have negatively charged electrons in the valence band and upon exciting these electrons with light, we can lift them up into the conduction band, which creates a positively charged hole in the place where the electron was. And these two particles attract each other, forming an electron hole pair. Imagine this is a bilayer MOS2, that means two layers of molybdenum disulfide. Um, and there exist two different types of electron hole pairs. The first one is where electron and hole are in the same layer, and the second pair is where electron and hole are separated in the different uh, layers. These two electron hole pairs have very different properties. This one is very bright, while this one is highly tunable. And by coupling those two together, we can fuse their properties and get one particle that has both properties. We make the sample ourselves. This is a rock of molybdenum disulfide and we get the bilayer if we take a tape and peel off the single layer of this rock. And then we can combine it with other two-dimensional layers and build our sample while stacking it on top of each other. To study the electron hole pairs, we excite our sample with a white light source. The white light is guided with the fiber to our microscope and then guided towards the sample that sits at the bottom of this liquid helium cryostat. Then we collect the light that comes back from the sample and analyze and study the properties of the electron hole pairs. The fusion of these good properties of each electron hole pair opens up a lot of opportunities. One example is that we can use this fused particle um, to create a new type of single photon emitter, which is important for quantum communication.